Hello, and welcome to my channel, or if you haven't been here before, my name is Zach, and today I will be showing you the books on my bookshelf that's next to me. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first book is Ripley's, believe it or not. I paid ten dollars, as you can tell, but it's just got fun facts that are really creepy. Some of them, so that book isn't for everyone. Then I got a cookbook, pizza, burgers, and nachos. I have tried these sausage, bean, and cheese nachos really good. Next up, I'm just kind of running notebook. There's stuff in it, but I don't feel like I want to share it. Then we have this book called Soup. We have tried the roasted squash soup. Not my favorite. I will be honest with you. And then you have Cooking Light One Sheet Recipes. This one is good. I haven't tried any of these, but you can make a zucchini ribbon pizza with chicken all in one sheet pan. So if you're in a hurry, I recommend this magazine. Or if you want dinner quick because you have kids. Recommend that magazine. And then we have Cooking Like a Master Chef, Graham Elliott. Again, I haven't tried anything of this book yet, but again, you can cook like a master chef. And we have Chinese fried rice. We got a farro with giant fruits and nuts. A fettuccine and clams, fennel and pesto. So, yeah. And then the next book is we got whole green recipes like you can make fried salad, a wheat salad, just stuff with whole greens. We have made the chocolate peanut cookies and they are delicious. Here is a book learning Spanish. I have only to learn Spanish so this comes with a think of book and a tape. Yep, <laughs> comes with a book and some tapes. So I'm currently learning Spanish. I've currently learned nothing. It's just not on the bookshelf. So the next book is Take One Veg. Right here. It's got everything in this book has a hidden vegetable in it. Like there's a brownie recipe with beetroot in here. And then there is a parsnip and syrup cake. That didn't sound good. But here you have to know your measurements because it says 30 grams of butter. So you'll have to know what 30 grams of butter equals to you can use that bulk. Things I like drawing, I got oodles of doodles, and going through it, I haven't really done a lot, but I will. This book I like, it's called Cook with Confidence, and you the easy step from amateur cook to the expert cook. The beginning of the book is your amateur cook recipes, and then your medium, and then your hard expert recipes. So, this book I'd recommend if you're an amateur cook, and then you just want to learn, this book would be for you. And then you got My Real de Janeiro, a cookbook with Spanish recipes. 
not Spanish, Brazilian recipes. It's got Rita's fries and pea, salt and salt, young potatoes, stuff like that. Now we got the Channel Maple Leafs Climate Book of Facts, Stats, and Stories. I have read this book from start to finish. Really, really good. So let's just hold on one sec and we'll push these off to the side. And then the next book is the Canadian Culinary Olympic Chef Cook at Home. This book, you have to be skilled to know how to use. I'll be honest with you. And then we have the 2017-18, which is old. Trying to your book. I just want to keep it. The Tapas Cookbook. We haven't really made anything from this except... Well, we haven't made anything, to be honest, from this one yet. And then we made... Sorry. And then we got the Rub Rainfoods Born to Grill. This bug is good for summer. If you want to grill, to be honest. And, yeah, like, the mainly shirt of sandwich with smoke monster alley we want to try. A calendar that I don't think I wrote one in. Nope, I wrote my doctor's appointment back when I had a February. I wrote a few dinners down. Okay. I'm gonna write down something. Wait, where are you? August. There we go. And it came with a pen. A touch. Write in bullet. I don't think I've ever used it yet. Nope. But I will. Cutting around Sudoku. A16. Food and Wine. This is a good book too. It's got recipes like pizzas. Stuff like that. The Easy Food Meal Prep Guide Magazine. You some easy ways to prep some meals. This book is my kind of book. It's just different types of mac and cheese. Like, I'll just open up to a random page. And it says Philly cheesesteak. Mac and cheese. Around the world cooking. Pretty self explanatory. It's about around the world stuff. Stir fry recipes, really good. But I'm gonna hurry this video up because I'm already almost at 10 minutes. The inside of the room with the ultimate listing, antiques and collectibles. And then I think, yep, you can see the price on the antique. The 500. Must visit destinations. So, Tosh Mahal. Father the Serpent. Started reading this. Never got into it. Jimmy Oliver Comfort Foods. Right here. Jimmy Oliver's Comfort Food. The Top 10 of Everything. 2015. It's just got the top 10 of everything in it. The 100 recipes from 100 books. This has just got like... Yeah. I chicken. Stuff like that. And the last book. 
mad hunger craving. It's got recipes like noodles, rice, and corn, and then also in categories. So don't forget to like, hit the like button, subscribe if you like my content, and have a good day. Bye.